Hi everyone, <laughs> it's just me. We announced a new uh, broadcast, so I'm here <laughs> and I hope the connection is good. Um, so uh, we are continuing uh, our broadcasts with uh, youth leaders of BRICS countries uh, and participants of our events. Uh, so uh, last time we spoke with uh, pretty girl from China, Xiao Mei Li, uh, and uh, today our guest, uh, our new guest is uh, Mohamed Akil. I hope uh, Sam <laughs> knows who is. Uh, Mohamed was participant of uh, our events in Ulyanovsk, uh, for example, six summit. Uh, of BRICS countries youth summit and of course international forum of uh, public diplomacy uh, inter yes there's forum in Ulyanovsk uh, so I believe Akil is joining us so uh, let's invite him uh, can you hear me uh, what about connection if it's okay please uh, text me about that Some technical issues. One moment. Uh, we are inviting our guest in our stream. Why I can't do it? I sent. So let's shake your hand <laughs> in comments. Mm -hmm. Instagram sent me notification about that Akil can't invite us. So why? Now we are trying to solve it. Oh, how are you? We can do it. Uh, I'm fine. What about you? I'm also fine. Okay, I was trying nice to send you a request and you were trying to send me a request. <laughs> uh, very nice to see you. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, me too. So, I can, uh, I believe we can start. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, for our new followers and uh, new subscribers, please introduce, uh, you s introduce yourself in a few words. Uh, who are you, your name, mm -hmm. how old are you, where are you living, working, studying, and so on. Okay, so my name is Akil Mohamed. I am from uh, Noida, a city near to capital Delhi. Uh, currently, I'm living in Moscow. I'm studying uh, Russian language uh, at People's Friendship University, also called Rudan University. And in my free time, I also work as translator sometimes. <laughs> so, perfect. Um, and also for our uh, new uh, viewers and subscribers, uh, my name is Violet, and I am uh, making content for our Youth Bricks 73 account. So, uh, I believe uh, we can continue. So, about Moscow, uh, please tell us more detail uh, about uh, your life in Moscow. Uh, why and when you moved to Russia from India and why uh, you chose Rudan University for your future study? Uh, I think uh, for that I need, I need to start from the beginning. Uh, for the first time I came to Russia in 2016 uh, to take part in uh, BRICS Youth Academy Conference which was held in Bernoulli city, not in Moscow but in Bernoulli. Uh, it was organized by National Youth Council of Russia and Altai State University. So after uh, this visit, I had many chances uh, to visit Russia, to participate in different conferences, seminars, workshops, and all. So uh, at that time, I was working with the BRICS International Forum, 
uh, when I started in 2014 to associate with this organization as a volunteer and then gradually I started to, uh, till, uh, till 2017 I worked with them uh, as director for international cooperation and uh, during these visits I understood if I have to work with Russia uh, in, in better uh, conditions and uh, more uh, more deeper then I need to learn Russian language because somehow it is a barrier between like uh, I found it as a, as a barrier between uh, our countries and I thought I, if I have to work between India and Russia so I need to learn Russian language and then I decided uh, to study Russian language uh, I applied for Russian governmental scholarship and in 2017 I got uh, the scholarship and I moved uh, to Russia uh, but uh, at that time I was not sure where uh, which university uh, should I choose so I asked my friends from Russia uh, they gave their opinions suggestions everybody gave according to their exper experiences which uh, which city or which university uh, should I choose but uh, um, uh, most of this, uh, these friends told me that if you want to come uh, to Russia, then it is better to go to People's Friendship University because uh, for the foreigners, it is one of the best university. You will not only get uh, um, many opportunities, but also you will uh, feel as home because uh, there are a lot many foreigners. And uh, also I had a few seniors, like uh, you can say, uh, some of the advisors for me. Uh, they also uh, told me that uh, it is capital, so better to choose Rudan. And finally, when I got the scholarship, I, <laughs> I was selected for People's Friendship University. And in 2017, I moved uh, to Russia, finally. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, at the time, for, for, for the first year, uh, I had to study Russian language as pre -pre uh, preparatory faculty in Pushkin University. And that time also, it was uh, I came as a participant of one uh, incubator. Uh, and simil at the same time, I also got uh, this scholarship. So when I came for this uh, incubator, I stayed here and didn't, and didn't go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, about uh, Russian language, can you speak something for us in Russian? Hmm, for example. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Акил. Уже почти три года я учусь в Руден и здесь живу. Perfect. Your pronunciation is perfect. Better than mine. I don't think. One moment about studying. What is your future profession after degree? Uh, well, uh, currently I'm uh, doing my second bachelor's. It, it is uh, linguistics, so I'm learning basically Russian language. But I have a plan to continue in international relations after this. Because I thought if I, uh, if I would have uh, started to, uh, like, uh, I have done one year, uh, one year um, course or maybe two years Russian language course, it is not enough for, uh, to learn properly Russian language. That's why I chose uh, another bachelor's program. And after that, I will uh, be uh, continuing international, cooper uh, international cooperation. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, I believe you have a very big experience uh, with participating in some uh, international conferences and uh, uh, in other events. So uh, let's speak about... Uh, youth cooperation, uh, international youth cooperation. Uh, as we know, uh, now you are founder and chairperson in uh, International Youth uh, Edo Skills Foundation, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> please tell us about this uh, organization. What is the mission? Why? And well, uh, if, if uh, I start uh, why, uh, so I always wanted to work uh, in the field of education because uh, it is something uh, which I want. I always wanted to do for society to uh, to provide the possibilities of education uh, as much as possible. And it came from my father because uh, he lived uh, in the village and he didn't uh, uh, didn't have schooling. So when he moved to city uh, for work, he understood uh, how much education is necessary and. Uh, 
uh, whatever uh, problems he faced, he didn't wanted uh, me and my uh, brothers and sisters to face the same. And he uh, did everything to provide us good education. And uh, he always said, uh, education is very necessary. And if you have education, uh, you have uh, lots of opportunities. Your mind will be very open and you can uh, think differently. And you will not uh, face problems which uh, they had. And uh, that's how uh, the idea was always there that I have to do something uh, to uh, for, uh, for the education. And uh, in 2018, finally, uh, me and a uh, few of my friends, we decided to uh, register this organization, International Youth Edu Skills Foundation. The main aim is to improve education and skills among uh, youth. But uh, we uh, also work for uh, for motivating the people uh, to achieve sustainable development goals of United Nations because what we believe is education and skills, these are the two very necessary uh, components which can not only remove the major uh, pro uh, world problems like poverty, like hunger, like uh, unemployment because somehow it is related if a person is educated he can not only feed himself and his family but he can also open some kind of opportunities for others he can start uh, some small business where he, he can provide employment and if a person is employed somehow uh, there will be maybe poverty but uh, there will be no food problem and there will be no burglary and other things which uh, the social problems somehow if a person is get, uh, getting good uh, good money, he, he don't need to do something bad uh, bad in the society. And somehow uh, we will be uh, reaching to uh, sustainable developments. And uh, uh, whether it is the problem of climate change, uh, biggest problem, somehow if a person is having a good understanding what he should do and what he should not, then uh, he can move accordingly. And where, where it is necessary to have education and skills, because nowadays, if a person is, let's suppose if a person is not educated, he can have good skills. And with these skills, he can start earning. He can have uh, self-employment. He can work somewhere. So it is necessary. What our organization is doing is providing opportunities to youth uh, to develop uh, some kind of uh, skills. Uh, we work in uh, three different uh, fields. We are working on the social projects like we have a project uh, uh, for distributing uh, notebooks and uh, stationery to students who don't have the possibility to, uh, like, they are from uh, financially weaker background. So our organization is uh, distributing free um, stationery notebooks to these students. Moreover, uh, during the COVID time, we also started another social project uh, to distribute groceries. Uh, for those who uh, work as daily uh, on work, they work on daily wages, and during uh, the pandemic period when there was a complete lockdown in our city, in Noida, there were many uh, such kind of people who were live, who were living on their daily wages, and uh, during uh, lockdown there was no opportunity to, to work. So every day, approximately uh, hundred to uh, approximately hundred uh, families got free groceries from our organization. And uh, uh, during this, uh, from 2018, we started to work. And uh, uh, during the pandemic, we started to more, uh, uh, we started our activities in a better way. Because somehow it was the time uh, when society was looking for these kind of opportunities where uh, organizations uh, would come, uh, come up and help the society. So uh, during this period, we started uh, 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 grocery distribution uh, pro uh, uh, project and moreover uh, we were regularly sending uh, uh, people uh, people from different uh, uh, different backgrounds to participate in international conferences because it is the possible uh, it is a platform which uh, which provide them uh, a, a possibility to, uh, de uh, to uh, for the personal development and to develop their own capabilities and realize uh, their own potentials so this is how our organization is working for right now. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, for me, I totally agree with your opinion about education. It's uh, necessary, it's very important. Uh, and uh, uh, the mission of your organization is important too. And uh, well done, what I can say. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. we, we are trying to do our best uh, what, uh, to whatever people we can reach we are trying to reach and uh, providing the best possibilities which we can do for them 
perfect. Uh, let's continue. Uh, what I want to uh, ask, uh, as I know, uh, uh, this position is not the uh, one. Uh, you have a lot of <laughs> different <laughs> positions, and uh, one of the, them is uh, president of uh, Indian Student Association. Yes. Yes. Uh, moreover, uh, you recently won the election uh, one more time, and uh, my congratulations for you. <laughs> uh, Thank you. So, <laughs> could you tell us uh, some details about that? Uh, what uh, uh, what is uh, activity of this organization, and how many members are in uh, ISA, and what do you usually do? So. Well, uh, we recently had elections uh, uh, two months back, I guess. Uh, and uh, one more time, I won these elections. Uh, currently, we have 10 members in, uh, in the committee, uh, including uh, uh, secretary, vice secretary, cultural secretary, sports secretary, education secretary. So everyone has their own uh, a, spe a, a specific sphere where they work. Uh, what uh, ISA is uh, doing is, uh, first of all, it is a platform, uh, it is a communication channel between the university administration and Indian students. Whatever uh, university need to convey uh, to the Indian students, uh, it will be conveyed through us. Similarly, if students have any kind of problem, we convey it to the university uh, from, uh, from the uh, association. Uh, let's suppose if a new student is arriving to Moscow, uh, our organization sends representatives to uh, to uh, receive the new student at airport. Yeah, uh, university provide uh, uh, the travel expense, but uh, we send representatives so that the, uh, the person will not have any kind of difficulties. Uh, and when he arrives to the university, we help them to settle in the dormitory, uh, to complete the admission procedure, to, uh, to complete medical procedure, to help them to get uh, visa extension, uh, get registrations and all during uh, the whole uh, whole study period if there will be any kind of problems related to education dormitory or in any field we try to help them uh, so that they won't uh, feel like uh, abandoned uh, you know, uh, this organization provide them possibilities uh, uh, to participate in different kind of forums and uh, conferences as well and in university we organize different kind of cultural programs, sport events and all. And uh, there are uh, cultural teams, sport teams, which uh, participate in the university programs. So this is how uh, this organization is working. Moreover, uh, if uh, we uh, think how many members are there uh, in, the, uh, in the committee of ESA, uh, it will be approximately 20 because the previous team, which we had uh, la last year, it, it is now in the ad advisory committee so that uh, we have chosen new members in the committee so they will need some kind of guidance and uh, the old team is uh, helping them to guide uh, how how uh, to organize these programs and wherever they feel some problems so old or uh, old committee members also help them mm -hmm. this is how uh, this this organization is working uh -huh. okay um what uh, about the election? Uh, when will be next elections? And what uh, do you want to take part in well, the uh, next time? I am not sure about uh, this, whether I will be participating next year or not. Uh, even this time also, uh, personally, I didn't want it, uh, uh, wanted uh, to uh, extend the tenure. Uh, I wanted uh, to give chance to others, but uh, a uh, lot many people uh, forced me that uh, let's uh, for this year you continue and the next year we will see if we can have a good candidate uh, who can continue the position and uh, work, uh, who can work for the uh, for the students so next year uh, we will see what will happen uh, normally every year we have elections from march to may uh, it could be any date so it depends on the uh, uh, university administration and uh, our organization we uh, we have different organizations for every country uh, there is an organization so uh, we have a specific system of elections like this uh, this year we have uh, uh, a, uh, a voting software it, because no uh, people were not available to do the physical voting 
So university provided a software uh, from which uh, everybody casted their vote online. And uh, before the elections, we had a, a kind of debate uh, um, with the opposition, like uh, 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 between both both uh, the candidates for presidency. So this is how we work. And uh, next year also, I'm expecting somewhere in May, uh, March to May, somewhere there will be another elections. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, I see. I think uh, if it uh, will not you, it uh, would be some another uh, good candidate for this position. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, next uh, topic of our conversation is meet in Russia problem. Uh, uh, dear followers, <laughs> uh, Meet in Russia is a public diplomacy program for uh, youth uh, leaders from other countries, uh, for example, Europe and the USA. Uh, and the main purpose and goal of these projects uh, is projects to get acquainted uh, participant with uh, modern Russia and with the political and cultural sphere uh, and structure of the regions of our country. Uh, so uh, this event will held uh, in Ulyanovsk very soon and uh, Akil will be participant of our uh, program. Right. Uh, in this year um, uh, it will be form of reunion. Uh, the participant of uh, last year's uh, will meet in uh, Ulyanovsk. So please uh, tell us uh, about uh, your last experience when you was participant of Meet in Russia uh, uh, last year and um, what did you do, when and uh, what, is your, what was your impressions? Well, uh, I think uh, it will be my first time uh, to participate in Meeting Russia because uh, uh, last year I was not uh, part of this uh, mm -hmm. program. Uh, mm -hmm. So I am very excited uh, uh, for for this event because uh, what I have uh, uh, read about this uh, uh, project on the website of the organizers that uh, the project was started uh, uh, as a public diplomacy programs between uh, USA, Europe and Russia. Uh, and this year, if they have invited uh, people from Asian countries as well, so it will be very interesting because we will have chance to interact uh, with a uh, representative from different countries and uh, to uh, to understand uh, what is uh, uh, what kind of international uh, uh, what kind of uh, cooperation we can have uh, with these uh, organizations or representatives and uh, how they see uh, the the changing environment in world politics and uh, how could uh, we be a part of this uh, changing environment and uh, what kind of opportunities uh, could be explored, uh, especially, especially with Russia. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, would, it would be a good experience, I hope. Mm -hmm. It's my bad, I didn't know uh, that it would be your first time, but uh, we will glad uh, to see you in Ulyanovsk <laughs> uh, one more time. Uh, it, 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 it is, uh, on, on one end, it is good because it is a re reunion. There will be people from the previous uh, uh, meet, uh, meeting Russia and there will be new participants. So it will be a good option. Uh, those who already have experiences, they will be sharing their experiences and what uh, uh, they could have done, uh, they have done uh, after this, uh, after the meeting, what kind of uh, opportunities were there, how they started and how we can go, uh, move forward together. It would be interesting. So concept is good, I, I believe. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, this year Meet in Russia will have in Ulyanovsk from uh, 27th of July to 30th of July. Yeah. And uh, we will post some news in this account, so uh, please like it <laughs> and watch it. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's continue, and I want to ask you about Ulyanovsk. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it will be your. Third, third visit in Ulyanovsk. Yeah, third, third visit. Third? Yeah. Uh, and uh, what do you think about our city? Do you like it? No, it, I like the city. 
uh, I think it is all uh, it is uh, uh, one of the city which is uh, uh, like where I will be traveling uh, third time and I am expecting it will not the last it will it is just the beginning and I will have several opportunities to visit Ulyanov I love Ulyanov city um, uh you remember uh, near to uh, the lenin's memorial uh, the place uh, where uh, river view it is very very beautiful and uh, i every time like in uh, in both our visits i uh, i was there and it feels like you are somewhere uh, without any tensions and all you can uh, see the nature's beauty and it is very beautiful <laughs> and moreover in uh, in the city a city as well uh, like nightlife is also very interesting and good you can go anywhere you can find taxis and all very easily so it is convenient and uh, i like the city <laughs> i i i think the uh, city is not very big but uh, for me uh, if we consider from the moscow yes, and all it's true <laughs> it's not very big city but uh, um the organizers of meet in russia um, from moscow says that uh, it is the future capital of public diplomacy in russia maybe yes <laughs> maybe maybe because uh, we have it is all it, uh, it has it has already started uh, uh, to become uh, the uh, the leader of public diplomacy and uh, like most of the public public diplomacy programs are going to uh, already held and they are are planning so somehow it will be the capital <laughs> Oh, I hope. <laughs> uh, I am also hoping. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Navarna. Oh, Navarna. <laughs> Speak in Russian. <laughs> uh, uh, I have only one <laughs> last question for you uh, about uh, not about Ulyansk, but uh, almost uh, about uh, Interest Forum. Uh, you yeah. visited Ulyansk last time when you took part in uh, international youth forum on public diplomacy in Tyrus and uh, uh, you made some projects there yeah, uh, yeah. so please uh, uh, refresh it please <laughs> tell us about uh, this project for uh, our we have, uh, the project with... uh, what uh, what did you made and uh, what uh, do you plan to do it uh, with to do with with this project now what you plan uh we have many projects uh, like uh, all the you know, all the teams uh, they uh, they created uh, around 8 to 9 projects uh, if we speak about my project and our team's project uh, it was uh, a bricks youth plus forum uh, which we decided to organize uh, to organize in india uh the forum is uh, basically uh, to increase uh, awareness about brics among uh, brics countries as well as inviting uh, representative from other countries uh from from the nearby region uh what is going right now is uh, we have planned to organize uh, this event in uh, india in december if there will be uh, condition will be better because uh, corona is still some somehow uh, a barrier but uh, we are trying we are uh, we are hope, uh, hoping that we will be able to successfully organize this event in december uh, i have also um, given an application to gachake fund for the um, uh, for uh, for the uh, grant which will be uh, which they uh, which they will be providing in um, eurasia global forum so uh i will be again uh, showing this project in uh, ulyan uh, in not in ulyanovsk but in orenburg uh, in september so i am hoping uh, somehow uh, i will have the chance to uh, um, to uh, get uh, gachake fund as also one of the partners but uh, if uh, we won't get the uh, get uh, the grant it is not a problem because somehow uh, we are dedicated and we will be doing the project uh, for sure so uh, it is just that if they are also uh, coming on board it is good if they are not no worries we can invite them separately <laughs> uh, uh, okay <laughs> uh, anyway uh, good luck 
with the project and we Thank do you. a presentation uh, it in September. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it will be uh, Eurasia Global Forum? Uh, Eurasia Global. Eurasia yes. Global. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you so much. You are a very interesting person and it's a great pleasure for me to communicate with you. And uh, uh, I hope we will meet very soon <laughs> in Lyansk. Uh, yeah, very soon we will be, we will be meeting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, thank you so much. I think that's all. Uh, I will save uh, this uh, stream in our IGTV in our account and uh, we and our followers and you <laughs> we can to uh, watch it <laughs> later. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for inviting because uh, it was very interesting with, to speak with you and share all the views. Thank you for inviting. Thank, thank you, you and you. have a good day. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.